Uh, good afternoon, my name is Malina Choro, I am assistant professor and I am coming from University of Banja Luka to this project K-Force. I am doing this seminar with topic Urban and Architectural Measures uh, for the Protection of the Fire, Case Study Banja Luka. Prevention of fire protection is ensured by planning and implementing preventive measures and actions to prevent the outbreak of fire in the most efficient way. In the event of a fire, the risk to human life and health, the entering of material goods as well as environmental damage shall be reduced to a minimum and limited fire at the place of outbreak. Categorization by fire treat. In order to determine the appropriate organization and undertaking the measures necessary for the successful functioning and implementation of fire protection, the Ministry carries out of categorization of facilities, activities and land according to the treat of fire, depending on first, the technical process that take place in them, second, types and quantities of materials produced, processed or stored, third, types of materials used to build the buildings, then the importance and size of the building and the type of plant cover. Object, activities and land are classified into the following categories. First, with the hydric risk of fire outbreaks, the first category of vulnerability of fire with an increased risk of fire outbreaks, the second category of vulnerability of fire with a certain risk of outbreaks, that's the third category of fire hazard. Measures for fire protection in urbanism. Fire protection in a spatial and urban plan. Spatial and urban plan, in addition to the conditions prescribed by a special law, contain first sources of water supply and capacity of the city water supply network that provide sufficient quantities of water for extinguishing the fire. Second, assess road and passages to facilities for firefighting vehicles. Third, safety belts between buildings that prevent the spread of fire. And four, the distance between the zones envisaged for housing and facilities for public purpose and the zone envisaged for industrial object and spatial purpose objects. Water supply sources and the capacity of the city water supply network that provide enough water for fire extinguishing. For powering the hydrant network, any source whose capacity can provide the required amount of fire extinguishing water for a period of two hours can be used. Groundwater from excaved or drilled wells, temporary water supply of surface waters, buried tanks, semi-tanks or above the ground. External hydrant network. Underground and overhead hydrants it is made in the form of a ring pipeline system. The distance between the two hydrants is not more than 80 meters. In the populated areas with predominantly residential buildings, the distance between the external hydrants can be up to a maximum of 150 meters. The distance of the hydrants from the wall of the building must be at least 5 meters and at most 80 meter. Inner hydrant network, dry hydrant network and pressure boosting devices. Technical control of the hydrant network. 
Hidden network with all devices and armature is controlled at least once a year. During control, the pressure of water in the hydrant network is measured while simultaneously opening all external and internal hydrants that provide the necessary flow of the fire extinguishing water in a particular object. Hydrants are equipped with nozzles with a mouthpiece of 16 mm in diameter and on the inner hydrants nozzles with a mouthpiece of 12 mm in diameter are placed. The pressure is measured at the control nozzle on the highest floor or on the hydrant that is farthest in front the, con uh, the connector. Assess roads and pa passes for fire trucks to objects. The assess road for fire trucks has the following characteristic. Minimum width of a carriageway one-way vehicle movement is three and a half meter and two-way vehicle movement is six meter. The inner radius of the curve leaving the vehicle's wheel is 7 meter and the outer radius of the curve is 10 and a half meter. The rise ramp must be less than 12% if freezing is then less than 6%. Assess and stopping other vehicles is not allowed on the assess road for the fire vehicles, especially on the side of the building where the increased risk of fire. Preventing assess by other vehicles to an assess road for firefighting vehicles is carried out. Barrier in the form of dissembling pyramids weighing more than 60 kg and less than 100 kg and the wired or similar fence that can be easily cut with a tool that use firefighters. Tra traffic circle for fire trucks can be circular O or P where the vehicle is moving only in advance and the shape T shape where the Maneuvering of the vehicle is allowed. Safety belts between objects. The free space between the two buildings, if is wide enough, representing the safest fire barrier. The minimum allowed distance between two buildings depends on the type and purpose of the building, the fire load, the size of the individual openings, etc., etc. L minimum is equal half of H1 plus half of H2 plus A where H1 and H2 is the height of the objects and the constant A represents the weight of the free of run road and it is always 4 meter. Fire sectors, purpose and objective. The fire department in a space in a building that is separated from other parts by a firewall or an indefinitive ceiling. We look at the fire department as a part of a building that will be completely destroyed by the, by the possible fire in order to minimize the damage it is trying to minimize the fire sector. Horizontal fire facility horizontal barriers, interconnected structures of non-combustible materials with higher fire resistance, one hour to four hour, are installed to prevent the spread of fire in the vertical direction. As a rule, the fire barriers should not have any openings on a section, but at the present level of the construction industry, is it not possible? because there are a number of openings for installations in the landings. Such sites are very dangerous in terms of fire propagation and must be effectively protected.
spreading from window to window. Fire propagated vertically. Fire safety stairs. Exterior staircases, non-combustible materials stairs are not allowed to be located at a distance less than one and a half meter from the facade opening. The higher of the guard rail must not be less than one and two meter. The staircase must not be spiral, which of the stair arm must be at least than 1.25 meter. Interior stairs in the building enclosed by a wall of fire resistance material of one and a half hour of fire resistance must have built-in materials A-class which are non-combustible in the staircase must be provided from the fire and smoke. Lifts Elevator Since we cannot put any horizontal barriers in the elevators, then the basic protection measure remains a good insulation of the elevator from the rest of the building with fireproof constructions. Elevator wall, two hour. Elevator doors, half hour. Lift installation is the high, in the higher part of the lift window in a separate room. In case of danger, the elevator cup in the upper part must have an escape hatch. Direct Express Elevators Case Study 1 Student Dorms Nikola Tesla Pavilion 4 Banja Luka This building is built in University Campus in Banja Luka the location is very close to the Boulevard Vojvode Petra Bojovića Street. And in the start of project, there was a three similar buildings on this location. We built only one and we following this rule. The possibility of access to the facility by vehicles from all sides, internal and external hydrant network, internal communication staircases, external fire staircases. The object is divided into fire department. One floor is one fire department. Fire clips at the breakthrough of installation verticals through the fire department. This is how the building looks today. Case study 2 Faculty of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy, University of Banja Luka. It's the building in the same area The building was built like the extension of old building from the 19th century. And this is the project and the model for the new building. In project, we take care about orientation of the building in the direction of the dominant airflow for the purpose of good ventilation. The central street is an upright vertical which allows for a good squeeze and push the air and the smoke out. The building is divided into two fire de department areas that are separated by a central street. External fire stair risers Staircase vertical installed in a way that meets the statutory standards, internal and external hydrant network. And these are the pictures 
from the process of the building, the new building of the Faculty of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy in Banja Luka. The building is not finished yet. Thank you for your attention and you can contact me with your question on my email.